screen slicked the alley, neon reflections shimmering. The package felt cold, almost humming with a latent energy. He knew the instant he was being followed. A whisper of displaced air, the rasp of metal on concrete. He didn't look back. Not yet. He moved, a shadow melting into deeper shadows. The package felt heavier now, a lead weight dragging him down. His heart hammered a relentless rhythm against his ribs. They knew, they always knew. The drone announced its presence with a high-pitched whine, a mechanical mosquito against the urban night. Sleek, black and deadly, it swooped from the rooftops, its red sensor glowing like an evil eye. He glimpsed the glint of weaponry beneath its sleek chassis, micro-missiles, a pulse laser. This was no mere surveillance. He ducked behind a rusted dumpster, the stench of decay assaulting his nostrils. The drone hovered, scanning, its whine rising in pitch. He had seconds, maybe less. He had to disappear. The city became his weapon. He scrambled through narrow passages, his feet barely touching the ground, up fire escapes, across rooftops, a dizzying ballet of desperation. The drone pursued relentlessly, its sensors never losing his heat signature. Gunfire erupted, ricocheting off brick and metal. He felt a searing pain as something grazed his shoulder. He didn't dare slow down. Not now, not when he was so close. He burst onto a crowded street, the sudden influx of people momentarily confusing the drone's sensors. He risked a glance back. It hovered above the street, its red eye darting back and forth, searching. He plunged into the crowd, his heart pounding against his ribs like a drum. He could feel the drone's frustration, its cold mechanical rage, but for now, he had bought himself some time.